Hello everybody, today we're doing another body paint. We're we're turning into a parrot based off the lovely made you look um hand prompt arm prompt arm prompt hand prompt whatchamacallit <laughs> of this lovely rainbow feathered look. I looked at it and went parrot. There is no other thoughts. Just parrots. So I decided to make myself a parrot as like close to a parrot as I could possibly get. So like we got the white around the eyes. We got the beak. We're gonna have feathers. The only difference between mine and an actual parrot is the parrot would have a yellow, not a yellow belly, it would have a red belly, but that is where my, my one parrot differs just a little bit. <laughs> That's just because we were having a little bit of fun. So, um, yeah, you'll notice that's a difference. But, um, anyways, I took Yeti to begin with around my eyes, then took bone tone to make the beak, then I put a little bit of black eyeshadow just around the other part of my jaw just to mimic how a parrot's beak actually looks. And then we're doing red, this is cherry. All this is made to look bright paint. Um, I'll mention when it's Mayron. There is some Mayron that I end up using, but most of it is um, made to look. And I just got red, um, red on a very small brush to do the little like close eye feather specks that parrots have. And then just kind of made it a little bit more look like feathers, just kind of round out the side. And then we're putting on black lipstick to emulate the beak. Like the underside of the beak has that. And then we're putting it in our little nostrils. Birds have the nostrils above their, their things. So we kind of technically have like two nostrils because my own nostrils. But you know, it happens. And then I'm mimicking as close as I can make to feathers using shadow. So I'm using a dark red and then I'm using some like a light like pink. Well, it's not light pink. It's like a light red. Not quite pink, not quite red. Um, eyeliner over top of that just kind of give it some wisp and then in a few spots I put some black just because I was like oh I need to make it a little bit darker because sometimes like you like they're not perfect but it looked a little bit too dark so you can see I kind of go back over that one spot multiple times and I add black in other spots just to kind of make it kind of blend in. Um, down underneath you don't see this in the pictures too much but on most pair of pictures I saw they always have like a black or a darker red spot underneath like on their neck like not on their body like there's those are the parrots you look underneath the beak there's kind of a black spot that picture is terrible looking at the actual um parrot but like on other parrots you can see it very clearly um this is where me and chat decided that we were going to do a yellow belly instead of a red belly for the parrot and that was just to kind of go with the more of a macaw so i'm um, adding a little bit of separation between where the wings are technically and then where my belly is and I'm just doing, similar to how I did up top, I did um, darker yellow shadow and then I did a light yellow on top just to add some depth. And then I'm doing a liner because I'm going to do lashes because that's just how I roll. And then here's where I'm trying to actually do the more, what the actual product was. So, oh, I did use orange. I didn't think I used orange. I did. Okay, the orange is uh, carrot by Made You Look. And the yellow is uh, sunflower. This is the Mayron paint at this point with the greens and the blues. And that's just because I had a lime green and a lighter blue that I thought worked better. I did not clean my brush off at any point from going from the red to the blue. And you can tell, but I still love how it turned out regardless of the fact that the colors are kind of muddied between the two. And then I'm just taking a dark shadow of each of the colors in the sections to kind of put shadows of where the long um, feathers are kind of like you see in the prompt instead of trying to go back and forth trying to make it look like a parrot my own style plus but bring in that element from major looks actual body paint that was the prompt for this so you'll see I kind of go back and forth a bunch of times like that and then also I'm going in with a lighter kind of eyeshadow not eyeshadow, um, eyeliner, but it doesn't show up too well in most of the spots, so I end up in the end going back over with Yeti 
and then taking a lighter shade of whatever like area I'm in. So if it's green, I'm doing like a lime green. If it's blue, I'm doing like a teal. I'm in the orange, I'm using yellow. And then if I'm in the red, I'm using orange over top of the white that I go through. You won't see it for quite a while, but just note that I am doing like a liner that's supposed to be like a light line, kind of like how Lex has it in her paint, but it just didn't, wasn't coming across, so I ended up using a different color in the end. And you can kind of see it, but it wasn't, it just wasn't standing out enough in my opinion. And I know Lex has hers deeper, like the feathers are deeper than mine, but I liked how mine turned out without going too much on the black. When I added the black, it just seemed too much. You can see it on this side, like really, it's too much, but I, I still really like the look and how it came out. Because I, I went over it a bunch. A bunch, a bunch. So you know, you'll see, here's where I'm adding in the white. And I decided to just go straight in with Yeti. I was using a liner brush. Or not. I was using liquid liner. And then I decided that it wasn't cutting it. So I just went straight up with that detail brush. And going in with white. And then I'm just going back over top of that. Deepening up the shadow, the shades that got lost, and then just putting a color over top of the white so it doesn't stand out so much in comparison to the rest. And then just putting a little bit of a black in as more of separating the wings from the body because the wings are kind of inwards in a way. Like they're over top, there should be more of a shadow. So I did that. And then on the other side, I decided to do the like the reverse order. So I started at the bottom on one side and I was like, that didn't, like it worked, but it wasn't like the best. So I went the other way, which worked a lot better of defining all of these feathers going down my body. So as you can see, I'm just going and doing the exact same thing on the other side. But I think this side looked a little bit, a little bit better, just more not hodgepodge as the other side did because I was trying to work backwards where feathers were going over top of feathers I already did and so it was like trying to do Jenga with feathers and shadows so that it just didn't work really so I yeah I moved on it this way the other time but I was I got challenged to use my left hand and it just made more sense if I started at the bottom area where my left hand was going to be at the time when I got that when I got asked to switch hands because that's a redemption that's over on my Twitch channel all this is on my Twitch channel um this took me two hours two hours and something minutes to do so if you ever want to see the full thing there is a um video there's a playlist on my channel that has all of the vlogs but um they're all pro they're all um unlisted so you don't get those all pushed out to your sub box but if you do want to see them, they're all on YouTube. Otherwise, come come hang out on Twitch. It's definitely a lot of fun. And I'm just throwing my wigs and final details. But I really liked how this look turned out. The uh, last detail I did um, just on the face, I put a little bit of gray and red. Just to give some more detail into that white section where the liner parts was not. And I also did just a little bit of like scratches. Because a lot of parrots I saw have like white scratches around their beaks from eating and whatnot so you'll see I added those in and then you can't really see it on camera because my webcam is not the greatest when I'm streaming like for this part I'll eventually get better thing but I hope you guys I appreciate the to me things and I'll see you guys all in the next video okay bye